You're watching News 54. Rayla Odinger and Deputy President William Ruto are clearly the front-runners in the 2022 presidential election, and both men have been drawing large crowds in various parts of the country. Rayla Odinger earned a big boost ahead of the 2022 elections as President Uhuru Kenyatta decided to support him in his bid to succeed him in office, as well as promising to actively participate in his campaign. However, New information has shown that all of Uru's promises to Rayla Odinger may not be fulfilled since he is afraid of being disgraced during the campaign. President Uru Kenyatta's chances of participating in the Azimio campaign are slim, owing to his dread of being embarrassed, Uru's spokesman remarked. However, the celebration has rocked the Tanga camp after receiving the news simply because the deputy president Ruto has been pleading with Uru Kenyatta to go home and leave behind Rayla Odinger in the campaign. Ruto declared that he will be competing with Rayla Odinger and Uru should focus on his retirement plan. On the other side, Rayla Odinger's Azimio Lamoa movement appears to be mired in political quagmires as the alliance strives to appease and embrace the more than 20 political groups that have backed his presidential campaign. The former prime minister had to hold an emergency meeting just the other day to defuse rising tensions within the coalition after Macaco's governor Dr. Alfred Mutua threatened to defect to Ruto's side. The main difficulty for Ayla, though, is deciding on a running mate while keeping the alliance together. For a long time, the Mount Kenya region has been heard claiming that the job of deputy president is theirs to seize. Nekaru city boss Lee Kain Yanjui struck a surprise today when he stated that they are not mindlessly supporting Rayla Odinger and that they are fully aware that the DP position is theirs. Kain Yanjui went on to explain that they were the first to support Rayla Odinger, and that the others simply followed suit.